Hi everyone, Jason from Makeara here with another Carvera Air tutorial video. And in this one, we're looking at how to replace or change your spindle collet. The collet is the part inside of the spindle which holds our bits during machining. And it's operated using the quick tool change lever that we talk about in another one of our tutorials. You might consider changing the collet to be able to use larger or smaller cutting tools with your CNC, or perhaps to replace a malfunctioning collet. The Carvera Air is shipped with a 3.175 or 8 inch collet by default, but it can also be equipped with collets ranging from 3mm to 6.35mm in size, which includes the standard US sizes of 8 inch to quarter inch. Now replacing the collet on your Carvera Air is pretty simple to do using the collet replacement and removal tool that's included in every toolkit. First, you should remove any tools that are loaded in the spindle and remove the dust shoe and hose pipe so we have easy access to the spindle and its collet. While keeping the quick tool change lever lowered, we can carefully insert and align the collet removal tool within the spindle collet, then rotate it counterclockwise to loosen the collet. After the collet is loose, you should be able to finish unscrewing it by hand and be prepared for it to drop out of the spindle when fully loosened. We can then install a new collet in the same way, first by aligning the collet and threading it in by hand, turning it clockwise. Once hand tightened, you can use the collet removal tool to snug tighten the collet fully into the spindle, but there's no need to apply excessive force or use a larger wrench. After installation, raise the quick change tool lever. Now, of course, after installing your new collet, you're gonna wanna use new bits. While we do not carry any additional size bits in our store, we do carry bit collars for the size range that's compatible with each spindle collet which is in our store. And the bit collar installation tool that comes with the Carvera Air is compatible with the same range of bit collars as the spindle collets too. You also need to replace the wired probe shank to match the spindle collet size that you've installed or else the probe will not be able to be loaded and locked in place during a tool change. The different probe shank sizes for each collet comes with every wired probe. Lastly, it's also important to ensure that you've adjusted your tool library within your CAM software to correspond to your new bit sizes. Remember that optimal feed and speed parameters will change when using larger or smaller diameter cutting tools. And something else that you might want to consider are bit shank adapters. These adapters allow you to use different size bit shank diameters with different collet sizes by increasing the shank diameter so that smaller bit diameters can be loaded when a larger bit collar is in use. So this allows you to use a wide range of bit sizes within a single project. Let's say that you already have a large collection of one size bit and then for a single pass or a single type of operation, you need to use a different diameter bit that you might already have you can load a smaller tool into a larger spindle collet using a bit shank adapter. Thanks for watching. You can check out our store for all the accessories shown in this video. And of course, please don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more how-tos, tutorials, and guides on our channel and wiki site.